next we have a matchup between two legends. We have Catastrophe going one on one against Queen Crusher. Up next, Queen Crusher made her debut on SmackDown uh, Know Your Role, and Catastrophe made her debut on Just Bring It. But both these women have had an extensive wrestling career prior to joining VGW in the early 2000s. Here comes Catastrophe, a former three time WWE Women's Champion while in VGW. She actually had a hand in training Angel Williams, who also was a uh, actually a rookie when she debuted on Just Bring It. And she's also the mother of a former VGW wrestler, Wes Phillips, who uh, was in the tag team division for a little bit. He was actually in the Super Squad for a little bit, along with his tag partner, Zach. Uh, they were like two add-ons, but you know, they broke away from the Super Squad to do their own thing. And eventually wound up becoming the three-time WWE Tag Team Champion. Now I know I say this a lot, but don't let her looks fool you. I mean, I've said it for a lot of superstars, but when I say do not let Catastrophe's attire fool you, she will wrestle in whatever she wants and whatever she can, and she'll take you out. Okay, she's, she's very crafty. And speaking of crafty veterans, take a look. It's Queen Crusher who made her debut on SmackDown Know Your Role alongside King Zorton and King Mandible and King Destructor. As, you know, I remember she had the huge robot attire. Like, it was, it was, it was, it was insane. I mean, there's this huge robot faction with these weird gloves that turned into drills and hammers and stuff like that on Know Your Role. It was insane. Queen Crusher is a former five-time women's champion across, you know, Know Your Role, Shut Your Mouth, and Just Bring It. And also, uh, here comes the pain. So, yeah, five-time women's champion. And she's definitely a force to be reckoned with. One of Amazonia's favorite wrestlers. I mean, we saw... Um, if you didn't catch the video, we posted a video here on VGW. Um, there was a live event, you know, preparing us for, you know, VGW 20, where Amazonia got a chance to face Queen Crusher 101. Amazonia defeated Queen Crusher, which was actually pretty amazing. Uh, make sure you check that match out. And look at this. Queen Crusher, oh my gosh, huge elbow to the head of Catastrophe, striking away in the corner. But look at that back elbow. Catastrophe, oh, with a nice arm breaker. Catastrophe with an Irish whip. Oh, nice kitchen sink. Catastrophe's her third and final reign as WWE Women's Champion came to an end at WrestleMania 17 when she lost to her protege, Angel Williams. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, we for a spinning wheel kick, but Queen Crusher with a power bomb there. Oh my gosh. Did you just see that? Queen Crusher just took her out with a huge power bomb. And oh, and another clothesline. Catastrophe. Oh man, she may be in trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. Hard Irish rip off the ropes into a oh nice power slam. Queen Crusher. Oh. Queen Crusher definitely hasn't lost a step. But look at this. Oh, nice arm drag reversal there by Catastrophe. Oh, this is going for a suplex, but oh. Crusher with the block. Oh, huge elbow to the back of the head. Throw a nice reversal. Catastrophe with a oh, nice Savat kick. With those heels on. Queen Crusher slipping out of the ring. Catching a breather. Oh, look at his Catastrophe. Oh, got Irish ripped into the barricade. Oh, look at this. Crusher. Oh, my goodness. Queen Crusher put Catastrophe face first into the barricade. Irish ripped back into the ring. Oh, and the striking at the head. It was heavy shots. Queen Crusher debuted alongside King Zorton, King Mandible, and the late great King Destructor. Then branched off and did her own thing. Becoming the Dark Queen. Actually, working with Angel Williams and the then debuting Jason Chevrel. Jason Chevrel is 
stated many, many times that Queen Crusher definitely helped his career in the early 2000s. Oh, look at this. Catastrophe. Oh, man. Elbow dropped to the arm. Queen Crusher introduced Jason Chevrel into VGW as one of his managers during this goth gimmick back in the early days. Look at this. Elbow strikes to the gut. And look at this. Off the rope. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Look, she was going for a tackle, but got taken down with an arm drag by Catastrophe. Followed up by an elbow drop to the head. Catastrophe going for the cover on Queen Crusher. Oh, but only a one count. What I tell you, you cannot underestimate Catastrophe. No ring rust here. Oh, missed that clothesline and Catastrophe got reversed. Queen Crusher. Oh, look at this. Oh, that two-headed. Oh, my goodness. The sit-out choke slam there. And she may be out. Oh, but Catastrophe kicks out. Catastrophe is still in this. Oh, but look at this. Oh. That camel clutch dropped to the back. And Queen Crusher. Going for the Irish rip, but got reversed. Oh, Crusher got knocked off the apron with a shoulder block. Catastrophe setting up Amazon. Ooh. Made a mistake there. Not Amazonia. Queen Crusher. Oh, look at that cat scratch. Play catastrophe on Queen Crusher. Made a mistake in Carter Amazonia. But look at the similarities between these two. I mean, you can understand why Amazonia looks up to Queen Crusher. I mean, even the hair. I mean, oh my gosh. They have the same hairstyle. And look at the look at their build. I mean, both of them look like they've been carved out of marble. The catastrophe with a spinning back fist. Knocking Queen Crush off her game a little bit. Oh, back elbow there. And a huge forearm shot to the face of catastrophe. She may be down, but look at the Oh, look at the pose. Look at the pose. Queen Crusher. Worked hard. In this industry. Male dominated industry. Oh, look at this. Oh, huge choke slam. Oh, a catastrophe. Just got choke slam right out of the sky. Going for the cover. This could be it. Oh, but catastrophe kicks out. Like I was saying, Queen Crusher has worked her ass off to be respected in a male dominated profession. Oh, my goodness. Up on that second rope. I mean, you, you see how hard she trains. Oh, my gosh. Missed the shoulder block there. I mean, you can tell by her body. How hard she is trained. And, she's, and she doesn't stop. I mean, she's definitely a machine. She likes to keep going. Oh, oh, missed that elbow drop there. A huge clothesline over the top rope by Queen Crusher. Queen Crusher. Showing off the guns. Queen Crusher. Peter Catastrophe up off the floor. Tossing her back into the ring. Catastrophe seems to be out of it. Queen Crusher, she's gonna fly. She's up on the top rope. What's she gonna do? Queen Crusher. Oh, that huge form shot to the head. Going for the cover. Could this be it? Oh no, but the kick out after two. Catastrophe. She may be out of it, but she's not giving up. Catastrophe, the KG veteran. Oh my gosh, shot to the face with a reversal. What's that? Oh, look at this. Oh, caught up with the knee strikes to the midsection. Oh, my gosh. That last knee strike to the face. And Queen Crusher. Oh, into the corner. A catastrophe. Attacking the back. Look at the reversal here. Oh, that forearm shot to the face. Referee telling her to back off. Got to check on catastrophe. She may be injured. That last shot to the head. Man, knocked her out. But look at, oh, look at Queen Crusher just, oh, just threw the ref out of the ring. Got the ref out of the way. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at her. She's got her up. Oh, oh. Uh, F, an F5 from Queen Crusher. Oh, man. Catastrophe may be out. The referee's outside the ring. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, here she goes with that jackknife powerbomb of hers. Can she hit it? Oh, that powerbomb. Jackknife powerbomb by Queen Crusher. It, what is she doing now? Just go for the pin. This is over. Oh, the Queen Crusher. I was ripped on Catastrophe. Off the rope, but misses. Oh, but Catastrophe. She's got, she's got Queen Crusher up on her shoulders. Oh, she's got her. Oh, a stun gun on the top rope. Catastrophe taking advantage of Queen Crusher's vanity. Going for the cover here. Oh, using the ropes, but only got a one count. Oh, that huge shot to the head once again. Huge forearm, that huge hammer fist to the face. Oh, and a forearm drop to the face of Catastrophe. Oh, but look at this. Catastrophe fighting back. Oh, nice throat thrust. Go for back suplex. Oh, it takes down Queen Crusher. Oh, look at this. Taunting. But oh, she's trying to grab the referee. But look at this reversal there. Oh, my goodness. Queen Crusher almost attacked the referee again. Look at Catastrophe. Oh, look at this. Go for another back suplex. Oh, I think she hit that bottom rope a little too hard. Catastrophe. Making a comeback. We thought Queen Crusher was going to end this match a few minutes ago, but it looks like it's. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's all Catastrophe now. Catastrophe could make the comeback necessary to knock off Queen Crusher in this match. Can go for that cat scratch again. Cat scratch on Queen Crusher. This could be it. Catastrophe could pull out the victory here. Two. Oh, but a kick out. Queen Crusher is still in this. Oh, look at this Catastrophe. Picking her up. Got her up for that. Oh, no. Mitch Noku driver. The Catastrophe. Trying to get Queen Crusher back up to her feet. Oh, my goodness. Block the kick. Oh. Going for that punch there. Going for a suplex. Oh, knee to the head. And oh, that huge forearm to the face. Oh, my gosh. Huge power shot. Right to the forehead of Catastrophe. And yes, uh, oh, that sit-out choke slam. That sit-out choke bomb, to be exact. Two, and it's over. Queen Crusher gets the victory. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I probably said Amazonia one, once or two times in reference to Queen Crusher. But this is clearly the VGW legend that we know as Queen Crusher. Ladies and gentlemen. If it, if that you know what you know what I think happened here? I think her match against Amazonia lit a fire underneath her. She was able to knock off Catastrophe in this match. But ladies and gentlemen, will we ever see Queen Crusher take on Amazonia again? I don't Oh, what's this now? Oh, look at this. Queen Crusher going back on the attack. Oh no. Yeah, she may be pissed about that loss to Amazonia. But look at this. Oh my god. F5. Nice F5 by Queen Crusher. And what's this now? Oh man. Oh, he's going for that jackknife powerball. Oh no. Catastrophe may be. Oh, she may be dead. Queen Crusher. Oh, you can see how angry she is. Look at that. Well, maybe she's sending a message to Amazonia. But ladies and gentlemen, up next, we jump from one rivalry to another. Janet Houston will go one-on-one -on -one against Lizzie McGuire. The singles competition. Now, we saw Liz McGuire make her return to VGW at Supremacy. But her match against Tiffany Miranda was interrupted by Maria Bladewell. And we also saw earlier that Tiffany got her revenge against Maria and you know all is well 
They're never going to revisit an old rivalry here. Janet Houston versus Lizzie McGuire. You see Janet Houston, the ex-wife of Status Quo, in the old school black miniskirt and blue jacket. Made her debut on Know Your Role. The debut this attire on Just Bring It. Janet Houston saw her at Supremacy losing to Kelsey Lawrence, the woman that she trained, and also Status Quo's uh, current wife. In you know impressive fashion, but Jenny Houston, we saw her in the ring. Hey, she hasn't lost a step, man. She she still knows how to get down in the ring. But uh, let's see how she goes against uh, Liz McGuire. We haven't really seen Lizzie wrestle since uh, Supremacy. We really haven't seen her in actual competition. I mean, just the attack by Maria Blade, where we saw a little bit of action from her. But now we're gonna see her in an official match. Returning here to VGW. For VGW 20. Lizzie McGuire paved the way for not only women in VGW but for celebrity guests. She's the very first celebrity guest to win a championship in VGW. Win the women's championship at the Royal Rumble of 2002. I can't believe it. Had a two month reign and then the Royal Rumble winner Catherine Daniels went to WrestleMania and won the championship. Janet Houston, oh, going for the drop kick, but got blocked by Liz McGuire. And Janet, strike to the head. And she goes, oh, shining wizard. Janet Houston, posing for the crowd right now. Got a nice little takedown on Liz McGuire, but this reversal into a bulldog there. Liz McGuire was originally just supposed to be a valet for Daryl Sebastian, but she's trained hard. She won the women's championship. This is a continued training. And, you know, she became an official member of the roster, winning the Women's Championship eight times. Uh, same, uh, same number of times that Janet Houston has won. She's an eight time Women's Champion as well. Only difference between them two is that uh, Janet Houston's also won the Divas title twice. Yes, Lizzie McGuire has never won the Divas Championship. But look at this. Oh, Springboard, but botched it there. And Liz McGuire going for the cover, but not even a one count. Liz McGuire and Janet Houston had one of the hottest women rivalries in VGW back in 2002 and 2003. Oh man, if you remember, at WrestleMania 19, triple threat match for the Women's Championship. Oh my gosh, Liz McGuire was the Women's Champion, taking on both Janet Houston and Mulan. Impressive match. Janet Houston won the Women's Championship in that match. But then lost it a month later to Grandma Joe. And oh, nice shiny wizard there. Shiny wizard taking down Liz McGuire. And oh my goodness, look at this. Irish whip with a reversal on the apron. And Liz McGuire going for a suplex over the rope. Got her up and oh, puts her down with a suplex. Jenna Houston slipping out of the ring. Crowd standing up on their feet for this one. Look at the springboard. Oh, blockbuster there. Springboard blockbuster by Janet Houston in those high heel boots. Well, Janet Houston can do a lot in those boots. I mean, it's incredible that she can wrestle in those. She's been wrestling in heels for the longest. She's wrestled in high heels more than any other woman on the roster. I mean, not to say that she's, she doesn't wrestle in boots, but you know, she just impresses everybody by doing this like so many days out of the year in high heels. Kick to the leg there. Got Lizzie up, but got reversed. Lizzie McGuire. Oh, back elbow by Janet. Irish whip into the corner. And Janet, oh, with a nice double knees to the chest. Lizzie McGuire. Married to VGW veteran Daryl Sebastian. Oh, look at this. And of course, Janet Houston. Married to Richard Roberts, former wrestler. And look at this. Oh, that diamond bind splash there. Janet Houston and Lizzie McGuire. Two incredible athletes. 
Now, I never thought I'd be saying incredible athlete and Liz McGuire in the same sentence, though. I mean, she was a celebrity guest, had her own TV show, but she came to VHW and realized her, well, maybe not her dream, but realized a new facet in her career. Professional wrestler. And look at this. Oh, Russian leg sweep. Oh, the Koji clutch. Look at, look at this. Oh, we haven't seen her do this in years. Janet Houston. Impressive submission. Will Lizzie tap out? Oh, wait. Lizzie slipping out of it. Oh, and those punches to the face of Janet Houston. Both women back up to their feet. And Janet Houston. Oh, oh, huge clock out kick by Janet Houston. Listen to the crowd chant. This is awesome. Oh, my goodness. And Lizzie kicks out. Oh, my goodness. That huge clock out kick by Janet Houston. Taking Lizzie's head off. Janet up on the top rope. What's she going to do now? Janet Houston off the top rope. Oh, doesn't connect with the kick. She missed it. Didn't get far enough, but she's going back up there again. Can she hit it? Oh, Lizzie blocks the drop kick. And look at this Irish whip into the, oh no, onto the apron. Oh, and the shoulder block knocking Lizzie off. And what's Janet? Oh, Janet with the springboard. That springboard crossbody to the outside. Lizzie's still down. She may be hurt. Oh, Irish whip. Oh, didn't hit the barricade. But look at this Irish whip by Lizzie McGuire. Oh, man, the referee up on the count of three. His winner still outside the ring, slugging it out back and forth. Lizzie McGuire. Oh, Bulldog to the floor. Jenna Houston may be in trouble. But oh, right into the steel steps. Because I spoke too soon. Oh man, this match may end up on a count out. Wait a minute. Oh no, but Janet. Oh, Janet doesn't want that. Janet's going back outside. Stomping away on Liz McGuire. But Lizzie, look, Lizzie. Oh, with the snap suplex on Janet. Lizzie McGuire and Janet Houston. All out brawl between these two. Who's going to emerge victorious? I mean, they got to they get back in the ring. Referee's always on the count of, yep, on the count of five now. Good reversal by Janet Houston. Elbow strikes to the gut. I was right back into the ring. Referee on the count of seven. Janet Houston, springboard frog splash to the back of Liz McGuire. Going for the cover. This has got to be it. Two. Oh, with the kick out by Liz McGuire. Janet Houston. I don't think she knows what to do now. Oh, springboard. Oh, crossbody to the back. Springboard crossbody to the back of Liz McGuire. I cannot believe this. Are you serious right now? Neither one of these women saying die. Not just yet. Liz McGuire got the grapple on Janet Houston. Going for that. Oh, arm lock scoop slam there. And look at this, Liz McGuire. Oh, what's this? What's Lizzie going to do? Oh, the Lizzie Cutter. Lizzie Cutter by Lizzie McGuire. Taking out Janet Houston. Could this be it? Two. Oh, but the kick out. Janet Houston kicks out right there in the nick of time. Miss McGuire is down. Janet Houston back on the attack. This is where I try to. Oh, new drop kick by Janet Houston. And look at this Irish whip over the top rope again. Oh, but look at this reversal. This is right with a sunset flip on Janet Houston. This could be it. One, two. Oh, but the kick out by Janet Houston. Oh my gosh, she steps out of the ring. This is McGuire up on the top rope, diving down, elbow drop to the back of the neck. Oh my goodness. Both of these women down outside the ring. Oh my goodness. This McGuire almost pulled off the upset with that sunset flip on Janet Houston. Referee got the ring out count going up to three. This is McGuire back up to a knee. Janet Houston still down. This is McGuire. Over the elbow drop to the back of Janet Houston. 
Oh my gosh. Liz McGuire. Got Jenny Houston back up. But look at this reversal. Liz is back into the ring. Jenny Houston on the apron. Go for a springboard. Blockbuster on Liz McGuire. Oh, but look at this. Referee telling her to back up. Telling Jenny to back up. Lizzie might be injured. Oh my goodness. Jenna Houston. Oh, it's gonna set up. She's set up for that clock out kick. Can she hit it? And a clock out kick. That clock out kick on oh, Lizzie McGuire. It's gotta be over. Two. Oh, but the kick out. Lizzie McGuire kicks out again. Oh no. Look at this. Wait, 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 look, Jenna Houston attacking the referee. Wait a minute. Jenna Houston just attacked the referee. Hit him with a Russian leg sweep. Jenna Houston. Oh, what the hell? Oh, she's got a sledgehammer. Oh, no. She hits Lizzie with it. On her way into the ring. Oh, no. Jenna Houston taking the coward's way out. Using that sledgehammer. But, oh, look at this. Oh, Lizzie takes it from her. Hits her with it. Oh. For him, shot to the face. And look at this DDT. Oh, Janet Houston. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Janet Houston's out. And, oh, kick to the gut. Liz McGuire. Look at this. Lizzie Cutter. The Lizzie Cutter on Janet Houston once again. This could be it for Janet Houston. Two. Three. It's over. Liz McGuire did an amazing comeback and victory over Janet Houston. Congratulations to Lizzie McGuire pulling off that victory against Janet Houston. What an impressive performance from both these women, both these veterans of VGW. But up next is our main event for the Women's Day, Day 4 of VGW 20. It's the rematch for the VGW Women's Tag Team Championships. The Misfits, Spike and Danielle, will be taking on the new champions, Christy Pierce and Grace of the Bad Girls in Tag Team Extreme Rules. I cannot wait to see. I mean, look at, look at the Bad Girls. They're representing Stone Cold Steve Austin with those t-shirts in this match but who's gonna walk out tag team champions will grace and christy retain or will spike and danielle bring the titles back to the misfits Here they come, the bad girls, who finally, after months and months of being inactive, cashed in their rematch clause for the Women's Tag Team Championships at Supremacy and defeated the Misfits in surprising fashion. But, oh, look at this. Oh, the, the bad girls dropping the titles and going straight for, oh, look at Grace going straight for the, straight for Danielle. 
Oh, but look at Spike. Oh, look at this. Oh, but look at Chrissy finally coming in. Drop kick to the lower legs of, of Spike. The bad girls striking first against the Misfits, which they have to do because the Misfits are definitely dangerous in the ring. Look at this. Chrissy on that second rope. Oh, but look at Spike. Huge suplex on Grace. Oh, my goodness. And Chrissy on that second rope. Drop kick on Danielle. Spike still striking away on Grace. Oh, my goodness. Danielle slipped out of the ring. Look at that drop kick by Christy Pierce. Look at this. Oh, Irish whip by Spike on Grace. Oh, that hurt Karate, but she got caught. Grace catches it with a power bop. Oh, Christy Pierce. Oh, my goodness. Oh, throws Danielle right into the apron. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, if the Misfits win the titles tonight, the Bad Girls do not get a rematch. This is their first title defense. So the Bad Girls have got, they, they, they've got to win if they want another shot. Don't forget, this is Extreme Rules as well. Look at Grace with the title belt. Trying to take out Spike, but Spike hits the Hurricane Runner. Danielle's got Christy Pierce outside the ring, but got reversed. Oh, dive nail ball on Grace. Look at the calamity in this ring right now. Women's Tag Team Championships on the line. The Misfits taking on the Bad Girls. We'll be seeing Nicole Caldwell on day six going one-on-one -on -one against Malam. If you remember at Supremacy, it was a battle royal. Nicole Caldwell and Malam with the final two. Oh, look at a double team move by Grace and Chrissy Pierce. Did you see that? That was incredible. But yeah, that was uh, the battle royal. Uh, Nicole and Malone with the final two. And so now they're going to be facing off against each other at um, on day six of VGW 20. Oh my goodness. And we, and we also see Marcella take on Kelsey Lawrence 101. Oh my goodness. Spike missed the drop kick, but look at Chrissy Pierce going for the pin. Oh my goodness. These women, I'm telling you, hey, this is like a little supremacy part two here. This day, showing, just showcasing the women of VGW, past and present. You're going to see it again. If you didn't see supremacy, make sure you go check that out. But ladies and gentlemen, you're getting another taste of what happened there. Their tag match for the women's championship once again. But will the Misfits gain the titles back? Or will the Bad Girls continue their second reign as Tag Team Champions? Look at this snap suplex by the British Columbia native, Christy Pierce. Going up to the top rope. Look at her. Oh, diving elbow to the back of Danielle. Oh, my goodness. Look at these women. You see Grace. Oh, my goodness. Grace and Christy Pierce definitely fighting hard. Proving why they are the Bad Girls. Taking the fight to the Misfits early. Hoping to get an advantage over him. And Grace. Oh, look at the Irish whip there. Oh, but look at this. A lot of confusion going on right now. But look at the back and forth between Danielle and Christy. And Grace thrown into the ring by Spike. Spike known for that devastating super kick of hers. And look at this. Oh, my goodness. Christy Pierce and Grace. Could they retain against the Misfits? I mean, we know we, we know they can beat them, but can they keep the titles? Oh, look at Grace going up to the top rope. Chris Pierce stomping on Danielle. Grace is up top. Diving elbow. Hitting Spike with the elbow. Going for the cover there. Two over the kick out. Oh my gosh. Look how cocky Chris Pierce is acting right now. Grace on the apron. Gonna be going for a springboard maneuver. Look at this. Oh no. Whoa, look at that. Race land to the Centon on Christy Pierce. Oh, Christy could be out. She could be out. Two over the kick out. Race outside the ring and Christy in there alone with both misfit members. Danielle and Spike. Oh, look at this. Oh no. Greetings from the Ukraine by Danielle. Greetings from the Ukraine. But look at oh. Grace has got tossed back. Shoulder back tossed by Danielle. 
Taking down Grace. Oh, look at this. Grace could be next. Oh, look at those. Close lines. Irish whip. Oh, but Chrissy kicks out the pin. The pin attempt by Spike. Oh, look at this. Oh, a huge spear. By Danielle. Oh, look at that Northern Ice suplex there. Danielle. Got the championship belt. Wailing on Grace with it. Accidentally hit Spike with it too. But look at this. Danielle. She's getting ready for it. Here we go. That wasteland to the Centaur Bomb. And Grace could be out. Oh, but the kick out by Grace. Alright, now Danielle's in there with both Grace and Christy Pierce of the bad girls. Spike's still outside the ring. Danielle being double teamed right now. Irish ripping to the corner. Oh, Grace has got the championship belt. Oh, but watch out for Spike. Oh, title shot to Spike. Oh, going for the cover on Spike, but Spike kicks out. Christy Pierce just took down Danielle, going for the cover. Grace on the apron. Oh, Danielle kicks out. Oh, barely hits the drop kick off the springboard on Spike. Oh man, I think Grace may be hurt. But look at this reversal. Oh no. Once again, Chrissy Pierce is in there with the Misfits all by herself. Oh, look at this. Here she goes for the wasteland. Oh, she hits the wasteland. Followed by a huge senton. Going for the cover on Christy Pierce. Grace has got to make it back into the ring. Two. Oh, but Christy kicks out. Grace takes down Spike with a clothesline. Oh, misses that knee strike. Christy Pierce. Oh, the piercing beauty by Danielle. Spike in there with the bad girls. Arm drag by Grace. Grace and Christy Pierce. Double team of Spike. Oh, my goodness. Spike to the back. And a Russian leg sweep. Spike. Oh, man. The bad girls may be retaining this championships. Going for the cover. Oh, but kick out after one. Double axe handle. Oh, excuse me, diving forearm drop off the turnbuckle. Oh, look at this grace. Oh, amazing grace. Take it down, Daniel, with the amazing grace. And look at this, going for the cover. Daniel may be out. Oh, look at this huge German suplex by Christy Pierce. Daniel kicks out. Oh, look at this spike. She's got Christy. Oh, snap suplex. Grace is going up to the top rope. Look at this. Oh, I don't know what she was going for there. But she definitely botched it. Outside the ring again. Oh, look at Spike. Look at Danielle. Oh, here she goes. She's got Christy up. Green's from the Ukraine. And, oh, wait a minute. I think she landed on the belt. Wait a minute. It's got to be. Is it over? Wait a minute. It's over. The Misfits regained the Tag Team Championships. The Bad Girls just lost their first title defense. Oh my goodness. Danielle and Spike are the Women's Tag Team Champions once again. They are now in their second reign as Tag Team Champions. The longest reigning Women's Tag Team Champions, the Misfits, lose the titles of supremacy but then regain them here at VGW 20. Oh man, what an incredible main event this was. But ladies and gentlemen, that's it. I'm Brad Johnson. I gotta sign out. Tune in tomorrow. It will be the GTS show live from New Jersey. Don't miss it. <laughs>